Hey guys, let's talk about Bitcoin's TPS and evaluate the question, is this a problem for Bitcoin? Transactions per second, or TPS, refers to how many transactions the network can process per second. This is usually paired with confirmation time, or how rapidly the network can confirm a transaction or trade. The transaction speed is significant because it indicates the network's current capacity to process transactions. If a cryptocurrency is experiencing an increase in its transaction volume, the average speed might be cut back. Transactions are the underlying unit of activity on any blockchain. How rapidly transactions are processed is critical in determining how useful any given cryptocurrency will be in the long run. Wait, before we start, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Now let's compare the TPS of Bitcoin with the TPS of some of the top credit cards. Bitcoin processes seven transactions per second, whereas Visa processes around 1,700 transactions per second on average claiming to be able to support up to 24,000 TPS. MasterCard utilizes a network that claims to handle around 5,000 TPS. However, when looking at these numbers, it's important to have a little more information. Bitcoin transactions operate more like cash, meaning that they're exchanged person to person without a financial intermediary. However, unlike cash, Bitcoin is not currently broadly accepted and must be exchanged for another currency to perform most purchases. Visa and MasterCard are widely accepted for payments, but they do charge pays for this convenience, and unlike Bitcoin, credit and debit card payments are not fully settled upon completion of each transaction. Despite its breakthrough technology, Bitcoin's transactions per second is one of the challenges it has yet to fully overcome. Another big platform for online payments is PayPal. So let's look at PayPal versus Bitcoin. The main difference between PayPal and Bitcoin transactions per second is that PayPal needs to make their payment through third-party networks like banks and credit cards, while Bitcoin's payment occurs without intermediaries and on a public open source blockchain visible to all stakeholders without differentiation. Some benefits possessed by Bitcoin in comparison with PayPal include lower transaction costs, time reduction, more freedom to perform transactions, and decentralization. Some altcoins, however, surpass Bitcoin in these characteristics, which has given rise to a blossoming and decentralized finance or DeFi market. So let's look at some of these alternative blockchains in comparison with Bitcoin. Many altcoins aspire to become the next Bitcoin by naming themselves as fast, inexpensive alternative methods for making digital transactions. This isn't all talk either. Their networks do offer such benefits and therefore have greater utility in many areas. For example, Solana's transactions per second are nearly 3,000 with almost instant confirmation time. Let's take a look at some various blockchains transactions per second and confirmation time. As we said before, the transactions per second of Bitcoin is seven or actually three to seven and its block confirmation time is 10 minutes. But as I'll get to again later, it's important to remember that Bitcoin was the first one around and there's a reason that people keep on using it. It's very secure, very well trusted. Then there's Ethereum with 15 to 25 transactions per second and a six minute block confirmation time. But as you've probably heard, Ethereum has become so widely used that it's always struggling with congestion in its network and high gas fees, meaning that people have to pay a lot for their transactions. This has given rise to a lot of layer twos on Ethereum. We'll talk a little bit about layer twos later. Then we can see several of these other blockchains, many of which are considered Ethereum competitors that have much higher TPS and a faster confirmation time. There's also Dogecoin, which is a lot of people's favorite and the most famous meme coin. Also for Dogecoin, Elon Musk once mentioned that it would make more sense as a payment method than Bitcoin, partially due to its higher TPS and faster confirmation time. Alternatively, some of these other ones like Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash consider themselves alternative to Bitcoin that are better for day-to-day -day payments. They do have a faster TPS, but actually their block confirmation time is not higher. So why does Bitcoin's TPS seem so low? And what does this mean for Bitcoin? Bitcoin is cryptocurrency's first real iteration and its philosophy and design set the benchmark for other coins. However, its implementation has many limitations. For example, proof of work, the consensus mechanism used to create blocks is often slammed for being energy intensive and inefficient. This is in comparison to other trustless proof models used today, such as proof of stake blockchain technology, which is considered more environmentally friendly and offers higher scalability, better transaction speeds, and cheaper gas fees. 
Most people who really understand Bitcoin agree that proof of work was needed for Bitcoin to become what it is today. But in today's crypto environment, most newer blockchains use alternative zero knowledge proof mechanisms. Today, people argue about how much change or upgrades should be made to Bitcoin. Some people argue for large changes to Bitcoin, but the majority of developers tend to take a more conservative approach, citing the need to maintain the security and stability that has served to make Bitcoin what it is today as paramount. This is why upgrades to Bitcoin, such as the recent Taproot upgrade, are rare and relatively small. This is also why Bitcoin has become viewed as more of a store of value and final settlement layer rather than a day-to-day -day payment method. That being said, if you are looking for a better crypto solution for everyday payments, other blockchains aren't your only option. There are also layer two solutions built on top of Bitcoin, such as the Lightning Network. These technologies work with Bitcoin in a fashion that similar cards work with banks. The Lightning Network will keep track of your many smaller transactions before moving to final settlement on the Bitcoin layer one blockchain. So in conclusion, the challenge isn't solely about increasing the number of transactions per second. Centralized databases are equipped to handle thousands of transactions per second. Visa, for example, handles around 1,700 TPS. The main problem is that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other blockchains need to compete with those speeds while still maintaining a serious level of decentralization. Decentralization and instant final settlement come with complications to performance and speed. Thus, scalability solutions need to increase the network's performance while maintaining the blockchain's other desirable properties. Otherwise, blockchains run the risk of being unusably inefficient on one end of the spectrum, or no different than a centralized database on the other end. However, it is critical to note that a blockchain with high TPS isn't necessarily superior to other blockchains with lower TPS. Many blockchain projects brag about their high TPS numbers. However, these performance numbers are often achieved by sacrificing other important aspects of the network, such as security or decentralization. All right, let's keep this Bitcoin TPS video short and sweet, and I'll leave it there. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.